Age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, is a degenerative disease that affects the macular region of the retina, causing progressive, irreversible loss of vision. The macula is a small area at the center of the retina, and it is responsible for detailed central vision. The macula contains the parafoveal and parafoveal regions, as well as the fovea, which is important for the most highly detailed vision. Early AMD is typically asymptomatic, and vision loss progresses from mild to severe as AMD-related changes to the eye develop. An estimated 170 million people worldwide experience AMD. It is the leading cause of severe vision loss in people over 60. The incidence of AMD increases with age. 2.1% of people aged 40 to 49 experience AMD. And that number increases to 35% of people 80 years or older. The prevalence of AMD is only expected to rise as the baby boomer generation ages. In addition to age, risk factors for AMD include smoking, obesity, and certain variants in genes, such as apolipoprotein E and complement factors C and H. In the healthy retina, an ophthalmologist or optometrist might observe something like this, a complication-free retina with blood vessels throughout, the layers of the retina which includes photoreceptors, the retinal pigment epithelium or RPE, Bruch's membrane, and the choroid or vasculature below line up neatly. As the AMD process begins, changes to the retina appear. Changes in early AMD include drusen, which are yellowish deposits of cholesterol, lipids, and proteins that develop between the retina and Bruch's membrane. They deform the overlying RPE and photoreceptor layer, ultimately resulting in vision loss. Drusen can be classified as hard or soft. Hard drusen are small with distinct borders, and soft drusen are larger and less well-defined. Patients with soft drusen will more commonly develop more advanced AMD than patients who only have hard drusen. Another hallmark of AMD is RPE damage, problems with choroidal blood flow, reactive oxygen species, and increased complement activation contribute to RPE damage. The result is an RPE that no longer clears photoreceptors waste products effectively, causing photoreceptor death and subsequent vision loss. Some patients will progress from early AMD, where vision is not significantly impaired, to advanced AMD, where vision begins to deteriorate. Advanced AMD comes in two forms, dry and wet, neovascular. In dry AMD, which in its advanced form is also called geographic atrophy, regions of RPE cell atrophy develop. Often these regions begin outside the fovea. So patients with geographic atrophy can maintain their vision until later in the disease process. Over the course of several years, the atrophic regions enlarge and coalesce, ultimately involving the fovea. This results in the loss of central vision. The other form of advanced AMD, wet AMD, is characterized by choroidal neovascularization. Newly developed choroidal blood vessels penetrate areas where Bruch's membrane is not completely intact and infiltrate the RPE. This disrupts photoreceptor function and leads to vision loss. Compared with dry AMD, vision loss in wet AMD occurs rapidly over the course of weeks or months rather than years. Unlike dry AMD, however, vision loss in wet AMD is treatable and reversible. In some cases, wet and dry AMD can occur together. Patients with geographic atrophy can develop choroidal neovascularization, and patients with neovascularization can develop regions of geographic atrophy. Ultimately, wet AMD can lead to the formation of a disiform scar. The disiform scar is a round, white, or yellow fibrous region caused by choroidal neovascularization. It forms within Bruch's membrane or between the RPE and retina and causes further deterioration of the retina and permanent vision loss. Because of its prevalence and severity, it is important for all eye care professionals to continue their education on AMD. Thank you for watching this whiteboard presentation. I hope it is helpful in your understanding of AMD and how it can change over time.